pardon me, but have I said thank you to anyone yet? Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome, Ralph. And thank you, Joe. You're welcome, Joe. Thank you all. You're welcome, Tina. You're welcome. You know how they say military intelligence is an oxymoron? Well then, wouldn't that make military counterintelligence redundant? So let me get this straight. You climbed up this immense door. And by the way, I hope you got paid scale for that. And then you were inducted? I said I went in ducts. He was absolutely heroic. Jake, I think Tina likes you. She's a beautiful dog. Maybe she's available. She could do a lot worse than you. Thank you. But there is an obvious problem. Religion. You know, Jake. Uh-oh. Now that you've stolen Ralph and Tina from the government, you know what you have here, don't you? Yeah, a couple of hot dogs. I'm sure they've mustered their forces by now. Probably catch up with you any minute. Don't say that with so much relish. I apologize, I apologize. After all, you're already a hot dog. I don't want to make you a sauerkraut, too. I would like to make a toast. This is the way. Go for it. To humor. The floor is still yours. Ah, good. Exactly. My name is Parabolus, and if I did not believe I was addressing an especially open-minded group, I would not be telling you what I'm about to tell you. I'd vouch for everyone in the room myself, only I know they'd all rather vouch for themselves. Yes, you would. I believe each of you here would. I've been following you around, and I'm amazed at the complexity and adaptability of your race. Your capacity for friendship, your capacity for self-sacrifice, unheard of. Me personally? You've been following me? Yes, you. All your little sojourns this evening, to the other places and times. I belong to an organization of beings that is outside of what you take to be the universe. In fact, I don't wish to brag, but Raymond has always been one of my most interesting universes, and I had very high hopes for it. Very high. Who's Raymond? I'm sorry, that's you. Uh, your universe, this universe. Uh, Raymond is its name. In our language, roughly translated, it means... Big mistake. What do you mean you had high hopes for it? It's clear what that means. This project is due for termination. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. What are you saying? He's saying they're getting rid of us. If you'll believe it. It's nothing personal. It's a damn budget decision is what it is. But I'm thinking that humor might be what I need to convince the board that this universe has latched onto something of infinitely redeeming value. And that could save it. You mean, tell them a joke? No, 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 no. That's not how it works. See, there are several of us, each maintaining a number of universes. Each universe is created with... Well, your closest analogy would be a computer program, I suppose. We assign vast, unique combination of traits to each universe, seeding it with raw materials necessary to foster some sort of development. Or that's the idea, at any rate. Now, wherever life develops in some form, new traits are constantly developed at a staggering pace. Once in a great while, one of these traits will emerge as valuable enough to disseminate elsewhere, to perpetuate it in other universes, perhaps even to make it a part of the plane of existence we inhabit. I have never seen humor before. I would never have imagined it could display such a multiplicity of purposes. You simultaneously amuse and torment each other with it, which I still do not understand. Its efficacy as a painkiller is phenomenal. It softens negativity, and it produces laughter, a remarkable medicine that restores you both spiritually and physically in very subtle ways. Your humor, your concept of friendship, you have a lot of potential saving graces, 
you must be presented to the board. Of course, that will mean getting you out of this universe and... Hmm, okay. I've got it. Meet me in my office. And everybody, the next round is on me. Parabolus? He's gone, but look at what he left. Thank you. Certainly. Shall we? By all means. What the hell was that? Everybody all right? So, we all going? Where? Out. There. Wherever we're supposed to go. You believe that guy? I do now. I do too. Me too. That was not a figment of his imagination. And you really want to go out there? Yeah. I mean, why not? I can't believe where I've been tonight. So what's one more hike, just because this one is as implausible as all the others put together? I want you to know that I take that implausible crack personally. So do I. Me too. Me too. You all take crack personally? Anyway, I figure I'm hot right now, so I think I'm going to walk out that door. Anyone who wants to come with me is welcome to join me. I'll come. Why should you get all the glory? I'll come. I could use a walk. Mike, you're coming, right? I'm sitting in my car Playing my guitar If you want my situation I'm a nighttime man Catching everything I can For my reputation I'm just marking time I got the need to ramble on Oblivion seems to be my destination Tell me mama, don't you want to go? You should come with us, Mike. It's your place. You should speak for us. That's why I should stay here. It's my place. I'm supposed to go down with the ship. I'm jealous. Come with us, Doc. No, Doc, you stay here. I think it's obvious who Parabolus wants with him. Well, the road is mighty long. I think that was my last drink of the night. Does that mean you're going to give me the answer to that riddle you told me before? Which one? The one about the crow-like bird, the duplicity, and stretched across. The bird was a jay, duplicity is guile, and stretched across is spend. J. Giles Spend. The J. Giles Band. Very cute. I have an aunt who says very cute, and it usually means that's stupid. A very insightful woman, your aunt is. Jake, I don't think my family can ever repay you. You already have. How is that? It's like we have a new member of the family. Here, here. Do you want to tell us what happened there now? Jake. Oops. What? It's a rule we have against prying. These days it's typical to allow one's curiosity to get the better of one's manners. 
I'm sorry. You are unnaturally civilized. And it's not as if I don't want to talk about it, but this doesn't seem like the time or place. You may find its exactly correct place, but you pick the time. Where are you going to go now? Coney Island. Where else? Is this real? Do we have any choice but to go along with it? Do you see any harm? Are you asking me? Yes. Oh, well, I don't think you've ever done that before. So, do you have an answer? I guess I don't see any harm, but I'd be on the lookout for an ulterior motive. Uh, yeah? What do you think? Was he for real? Don't you? He certainly seems to have taken a liking to you, Jake. He's been following you around for days. Or for 20 minutes, depending on how you look at it. I feel like if I buy into what he's saying, that'll make it true for sure. And if I don't buy into it, maybe there's some hope that he's just blowing smoke. I'm pretty sure he's not. Look at it this way. He might be some maniac who wants to poison us all. But if that's what he wants to do, why the elaborate story in the Vanishing Act, which I have to say was pretty impressive. I mean, why not just poison us? And if I leave that bottle on the bar... I'm going to die a crazy old man because I never knew. Provided Parabolus was lying and the world's not about to come to an end. Trust your instincts, Luke. Who's Luke? Did I say Luke? I meant Jake. Right. Jake, my man. What do you think? How did Parabolus smell? He didn't. There was no scent. So, does this mean he wasn't here? I've never met anyone who had no smell. I don't like it because it leads me to conclude that he is not what he appeared to be. That is to say, we were being deceived. Whether or not that deception was meant malevolently or merely as for convenience, I can't say. But if it was the latter, it was incomplete. Wanna come with me into the great outdoors and see what's happening? A walk? A walk? Need you ask? Lead on, Tina? Do you mind? Do you mind if I stay? I would prefer it. I'll come back. I know. Let's boogie. You coming outside? Hey, I'm your co-pilot, right? Well? You want to come with me to see the wizard? Maybe he can give me a heart. Is Sasha coming with us? She says she can't. She doesn't know if she can fly out there, and she's wearing her nightgown. Stop teasing her. I think she's blushing. Say, I've always wanted to see a bat in rouge. Play or stay out of the way. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I figure I'll leave it to the brain. Just let me be the finger. My destination. Well, mama, don't you want to go? I said, mama, don't you want to go? Well, mama, don't you want to go? All right, look after the women and children for me, won't you? Hey, it's a righteous thing you're doing, man. Five on the black hand side. What it is. What it was. What it has yet to become. Careful, man. White boys can get hurt trying to talk like that. I don't consider myself white. No, that's true. You're a color not found in nature. Jesus, where are we? If anybody wants to say, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, I'll let them get away with it. 
This time only. What is this miasma? No, I don't think bronchial spasms alone could explain all this. Somebody just shoot us up with psychic Prozac? That was the real stuff. Isn't that redundant? It's this place. Yeah, what about this place anyway? What kind of names are these? I don't think they're names. There better not be a mime back there. How does he expect us to find him? We still haven't tried every door. Yeah, but he could have said to his last door on the right or something. He's gotten a lot of cheap thrills out of watching Jake jump through hoops tonight. I think he gets off on it. He likes to see us rack our little brains for his entertainment pleasure. Well, I think it's a cold. Well, it's what I'd do. Piotr, let's talk. Yeah, boss? You want to help us out here? I am. Let me concentrate. Just keep trying, and when I get it, I'll let you know. Joe, come here. You hear anything behind these doors? Never mind, I can see you're running dangerously low on paper. Ralph? Yes, Jack? Pick up any interesting sense? None at all. It's very disturbing. It's oppressive. It's as if I'm taking a shower with a raincoat on. Do you know the feeling? Yeah, I'm afraid I do. Don't go off by yourself. Don't worry. I don't like this place and I've got nowhere to go. Why don't you go over in the corner there? I'm sure Parabolus will understand. I would bite you for that. Except that you might bite back. Piotr. Yeah. 
What do you think? Either Parabolas is telling us the truth, or this is a very elaborate practical joke. The guys at Finnegan's Pub in Deer Park are just capable of pulling off something like this. Piotr. Yeah? You want to help us out here? I am. Hey, Josie. Pussycat. Right here. See what happens. You have one little drink too many. You knew you were going to take it. We all knew. How so? Look at what kind of night you had. You think it was just coincidence? This one night that we find out the end of the world is nigh, you get sent into space, the future, around the world. You'd have to be stoned not to realize that it's all been leading up to something. Well, that ain't it, because I ain't stoned, and I never saw it coming. Well, maybe you were in the eye of it, you know? Noah, old pal of mine? Jake, I gotta say, this is one of those days where everything I see, I say, now I've seen everything. Check out these walls, man. I know. Talk about the halls of vapor action. Yeah, maybe we're on mentholiptus. Hey, Al. Yeah, you. You know, I'm actually enjoying this? Ever seen lighting effects like these before? Not since I plowed into the Paleolithic at top speed, broke my collarbone and my Timex. I'm confused. About what? How could I have been to the future if we have no future? That's something to be optimistic about, huh? Eh, maybe that means we have to have a future. Unless the future you're from is just one of an infinite variety of futures, of which no future is also an infinite possibility. No, I don't think so. And upon what do you base that opinion? I base it on the fact that I don't like it. You don't seem like the type to come along, that's all. I'd go crazy if I sat in the bar wondering what was going on. I may go crazy anyway. I'm confused about what I was originally confused about. Never mind. Just wanted to make sure you hadn't gone into shock. No, I'm doing okay. A little jumpy, but okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. P.O. Yeah? You wanna- I am. Come on in. Very good, very good, come in. Nice office. That's exactly correct. I mean, it's my first attempt at a nice office. Do you mind if I ask what, uh, well, what I might expect to pay if I wanted to rent, say, a small office in the area? No, this is just something I threw together because I hoped you were coming. A semi-illusionary interface between my world and the one you exist in. It's... A little hazy. Well, I'm a little hazy. I didn't remember all the details. I didn't spend much time on your little ball there. But should be a safe environment for you. I checked for holes in the floor, and I made sure not to have any... What is it you people worry about? Uh, tropical oils in the atmosphere? That's very close. Thank you for trying. I trust your trip went smoothly. The anesthetic. Good stuff, eh? The bottle. Yes, my private label. Well... The board is meeting, so now that you're here, I have a few more notes to go over and we can go in. Go in where? You're going to tell us where we are? Right, 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 right. 
You're outside of your universe. That's it in the display case over there, top left. And you're coming with me to convince the board not to cut your funding. Your universe, like my other universes over there, and like the ones we all create here, are funded by the cosmic endowment. Now, the endowment's being cut, and we're, uh, well, having to tighten the old belt on things like matter and energy. Actually, the matter doesn't matter. It's the energy that's really the matter. So they'll just pull out the plug and your stars will go out. We'll freeze to death. Could be. See, about the time they cut off the power, they usually cut the time, too. So you won't have a chance to freeze to death. You'll just stop. And they'll recycle the matter later on for lawn furniture, probably. Big lawn furniture. What's being displayed in this case? Those are my four universes. They're not as splashy as some, but I think they have an artistic integrity that puts everyone else's to shame. You know what this looks like? To me, it's something quite beautiful that you couldn't comprehend. To you, unless I've missed my guess, this is a piece of what you call fine art. This is not fine art. This is an advertisement for Stetson Cologne. Oh dear. I was thinking the advertisement was the girl with the nice smile. Toothpaste. Mona Lisa Brand from Da Vinci. Right. No. You're a little mixed up. I'm sorry. I'll change them. It's not necessary. The Stetson ads aren't that bad. It's an interesting choice. Just give me a few more minutes. What's the antique stock ticker for? Well, what we do here is just a little complicated for your little minds to wrap around. But I think it's closest to what you think of as the stock market. We buy and sell all the countless aspects of existence, invest them in various universes, and attempt to cultivate new aspects and new connections. The trouble is, we haven't found anything exciting for eons. No matter how we combine these aspects and cross-pollinate, the same basic themes emerge to some degree on every plane of existence. No mutant concepts, so to speak. And thus, till I found you, that is. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be done in a minute. I just wanted to ask you. I'm almost done. Please. Yeah, yeah, come on in. Right here. So this is Oblivion. It's a lot more colorful than I pictured it. And for an infinite void, there really is an interesting mix of architectures. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We don't really know why. I only have a couple of minutes left. Just hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just get a word? No. Ow! My gotten himmel! This thing is solid marble. The cushions, everything. Maybe Parabos thinks this is what's meant by a rocking chair. I don't recognize this kind of tree. That's a dwarf orange, I think. Stellar hypothesis. You mean I'm right? No, 
I mean, that's not really a tree, it's a stellar hypothesis. It hasn't been getting much bigger, I'm afraid. I just don't think about it enough. How old is this bonsai tree? I'm sorry, that question really doesn't make any sense. I don't know how you say this. Objects not drawn to scale? Actual appearance may vary? Simulated picture? Ah, uh, serving suggestion. I get it, so there's no bonsai tree here. Right. But, there is a living spirit in my realm that corresponds to that bonsai. Just as there is a means of information manipulation in my reality that corresponds to that computer, and an area that exists purely to stimulate thought that corresponds to those paintings. Do you see? So nothing here is real, but everything here is symbolic. That's exactly correct. It obviously works wonderfully for dealing with beings on your plane of reality, which I don't think we've ever done before. He's pretty damn condescending. Yes. That's exactly correct. I am damned condescending. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Dog and pony show time. Let's go. The litigants for our next case are now on their way into the courtroom. We'll be back for the case of Stop the World, I Want It Turned Off, after these messages. What the hell was that? I just wanted to make you feel more at home. Isn't this how your legal system works? No.